Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. I'm so excited to be here. Happy you're here with me. Uh, today I thought we would go through a revamped fall journal. Um, this journal is packed with all sorts of, I guess you would call it, eclectic um, goodies. Um, there's all kinds of things in this journal and I thought I would show it to you. I made this a while back but I kind of revamped it, added some more stuff to it just to make it a bit more appealing. So um, we're going to hop into my fall journal. Uh, before I start, I hope everybody out there is doing okay. Um, hope you're ready for fall. Ready or not, it's here. And so I'm going to show you what I made. All right, so this is the cover. I added several goodies to the cover. These beautiful leaves. Um, I also added some lettering, the um, Scrabble letters that spell fall. I also added some burlap here, some pretty fall fabric, some nice trim, some lace, uh, this cute sunflower that was sent to me from a crafty friend. Um, I added a pretty flower with some sparkle there and this has a pretty hefty spine. I think this one is three signatures. Um, there's some pretty buttons there on the spine. On the back, it says give thanks. And there's some burlap and this cute little ornament mug that I made that says fall. And I got that from... Um, I think those came from the Dollar Tree and I just decorated those. So <clears throat> here is my tassel, my spine dangle. I will link videos below to show you how to make these if you're interested. This is my fall spine dangle. It has like a huge button there. Some, there's a string of beads. There's a pretty bow there. All right, let's hop into this journal. All right, so on the first page, I added lots of trim. I love this trim. Beautiful green and gold. There's some, let me see if I can, there's some cute little tassels here at the bottom, some fringe there. Uh, I added this rope here for like a bookmark. There is a pocket here and a chipboard sticker, a button, and then inside there's a paper here with a couple pumpkins and a to from card. Uh, this is a pocket that I made and then hand stitched around with some coffee dyed paper. There's a leaf there and then the cover is one of the envelope paper clips that we made um, last week or a week before. And um, I just stuck it here in this little paper bag. This says Harvest Days. There's a paper doily there. Um, let me see. I'll stick that back in there. There's a cute little sunflower, some beautiful shabby looking trim, some buttons and then the next page there is an arrangement of fruit some trim there enjoy the colors of autumn there is a bushel of apples and there's a bag here that has some tags for writing i don't know about you but i just love junk journals i just love them all the goodies that you can put in them it just wonderful okay um, autumn gold here and then I made a flip here for writing there's another bushel of apples I also made a pocket here that just has like an owl a little windmill and then these are my favorite days favorite days of fall okay um, another bushel of apples in this pie, corn, pumpkin, wheat that flips out and it says, let's give thanks with a grateful heart. 
There's just some paper for writing. This is coffee dyed paper. There is a nice um, recipe there. And look how beautiful. That just reminds, reminds you of fall, right? You just need a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. And a nice cut of this looks like a bundt cake. It actually may be the recipe that's on the back. So over here, I made a flip pocket. So this flips up for writing. And then there's some tags in here. And just a folded paper for writing. You gotta have spaces for writing, right? It's a journal, okay? So this page, there's a pocket here, a little cute squirrel and some journaling cards. I also added some fabric. Uh-oh. See if I can get this back. So I added some fabric over here. Isn't that pretty? And it reminded me of this print. So I stuck it there, added some trim, and then some pumpkins. Here is a butter pecan banana pudding cake from a vintage book. I think it was like a Reader's Digest or something um, from the 70s. I think the 70s. Okay, um, this is some coffee dyed music paper, some more coffee dyed paper that I just tore. Here's some more of some more beautiful um, fabric and a bird with a blue button, some coffee dyed paper, some little pumpkin tags. There's a pumpkin pocket and some leaves, some more fabric and some trim, spot for writing. This uh, is just some autumn things. Uh, hello pumpkin, sweater weather, hello autumn, apple cider, hay rides, and pumpkins. And I stuck that there because some of those are pictured in that image there. All right, some more coffee dyed paper and a couple of owls. That is the middle of the first signature. There's a pocket here with a couple of autumn tags. This one just says fall. And then this one, uh, some cute little images there. Hello autumn. And then there's a tag behind that. There's a pocket here, the couple of autumn tags. And this has a belly band on the pocket some coffee dyed paper. So what's your favorite thing about fall? I love hay rides. I love, um, I just love the scenery. I love going to the mountains and um, I'm not a big fan of apple cider, but I love hot chocolate and coffee. So, but what's your favorite? Let me know down in the description in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Um, okay, so I also added this pumpkin spice candle and a couple pumpkins. This is a pumpkin napkin. There's a pocket here with a couple of, there's a recipe card with some sunflowers and this large tag. Some more coffee dyed papers. Um, if you're not familiar with coffee dyed papers, I will try to remember to link how to make coffee dyed papers in the description. If you're looking for anything that you've seen in this um, journal, I will try to link all the information below. Some more music paper. Um, this is a beautiful image of some canned vegetables. It says home. Couple of tags here and that little hedgehog fall. And I made a bag, this actually is a wax paper bag pocket. 
So we can actually pull this out and there is a tag inside for writing. Cute little pumpkin there. I apologize for my, my lighting. It's not the best today. We have an overcast today, so. Um, this is the homemade tape. I got the idea from Pam. Thank you, Pam, for that idea. Um, and it's just scotch tape and it's colored with alcohol ink. Very cool idea. Um, a couple of tags here. And then this is a pocket that opens for writing. Uh, this is some of the paper that I made. Um, I made a master board and then I just printed the master board on regular paper. And so I like to use that in my journals. Um, this is some pretty trim, an orange cheesecake recipe, an orange pocket here with a tag, a couple tags, and some more of that pretty trim and an apple. Okay, this is a little card with fall items it says grateful and then there's some sunflowers there's a bag here with a sunflower a belly band here a butterfly that i kind of inked with some coffee dyed paper space for writing a tag pocket with some pumpkin paper this is some vintage paper from the Reader's Digest, Golden Griddle, excuse me, Golden Griddle Pancake Syrup. I don't think they even make that anymore. I don't think I've ever seen it at a store. So um, this is a vintage image. Um, there's a pumpkin here, a tag here, a coffee cup with a spot for any little item. Here's some beautifully coffee dyed paper. I love this color. Some more of that tape I was telling you about. Some fall leaves. Another baggie here for pocket. Another space for writing. This is a fall napkin with trim. It flips up. And then there's a little baby deer in there. Isn't he cute? Yes. And then this card, a joyful heart is good medicine, Proverbs 1722. And it has a coffee cup that I stamped on there. These are so much fun. So much fun. Okay, look at this little fella. He's so cute. That little baby fox. Got them tucked right there in the coffee dyed paper. Here's another baggie that you could add something to. I'll just stick him in there so he doesn't slide out. A beautiful fall tree. I think that may be a maple. I'm not sure, but it's pretty. Um, there's a side pocket here with a tag with pumpkins. There's some more pumpkins here. Spot for writing. This flips open. More places for writing. Here is a tiny little envelope with a fall leaf. Happy fall, y'all. Love it. Okay. Here is a ornament that is blank for anyone who wants to color or paint. So I'll put that in there. Um, autumn, this little autumn tag here that flips open. Isn't that cute? And then these cute little birds with music paper behind them because they're singing a tune. Just have fun. This is another vintage image here for waffles. Natural whole grain goodness. It's at the heart of our frozen waffles. I don't think I've ever seen these either, but um. Like I said, this is a vintage image, and so are these coupons. Look at these coupons. All kinds of different things. You got Velveeta cheese, you got macaroni and cheese, Miracle Whip, Parquet, 
cheddar, and what is that? Some sort of salad dressing. So these are vintage coupons. Here is an image of just fruit and vegetables. I have a Thanksgiving piece here. Some coffee dot paper. There's a little birdie and a feather that I stamped. Some just random papers. That's a cute little birdie there. There's another little image that I stamped of a bird in a cage. And then this flips up. And then there's a tag inside. There's a cute little barn with a flower there. More coffee dyed paper and a little squirrel. Here's some hot chocolate. This is another vintage um, image from that same magazine. Hershey's Hot Cocoa Mix. And here is a, bo a bag of fresh popcorn or just a popcorn bag with the scarecrow. A little stamped teacup. And then at the end, there is a little pocket here with a couple of tags and that sunflower. And then over here, I added Welcome Fall with the belly band that's made from a coffee cup holder. And then a couple of tags for writing and a cute fall leaf there. So this was lots and lots and lots of fun to make. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I will link all information down in the description. And I hope you guys uh, take the opportunity to go back and check out some of the videos that you may have missed. I have lots and lots of videos for you to check out. So please go back and check out some videos. Leave me some comments and like them if you have not yet subscribed to my channel i would be grateful if you would take the opportunity to do that thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i hope you have a super marvelous day take care bye